Hi, I'm Chris Wardlaw for CarGurus, and this is the updated 2021 Honda Ridgeline. Now, as likable and as useful as the Ridgeline is, Honda's really tired of people like me characterizing this truck as nothing more than a Honda Pilot with a cargo bed. So it invited members of the media out to the Mojave Desert to explain how the Ridgeline is different from a Pilot, to demonstrate the lifestyle that is led by the typical Ridgeline owner, and to show what its mid-sized truck can do. And that explains all the dust and dirt on our test truck. It's a good look, like a badge of honor. So I didn't wash it for our shoot. Be sure to check out our full review on cargurus.com for photos of this truck clean. So did Honda convince me that a Ridgeline is something more than a pilot? Yes, it did. Let's take a closer look at the 2021 Honda Ridgeline and I'll explain. Before we get into the review, let's get the lay of the land. For 2021, Honda offers the Pilot in Sport, RTL, RTLE, and Black Edition trim. As we're shooting this video, prices range from $36,490 to $43,920, and every Ridgeline includes a terrific 280 horsepower V6 engine, torque vectoring all-wheel drive, a dual-action tailgate that drops down or swings to the side, and a handy weatherproof trunk under the cargo floor. This test truck has sport trim, new extra cost radiant red metallic paint, and the new HPD package from Honda Performance Development. The HPD package installs bronze 18 inch alloy wheels, oversized fender flares, a unique grille design, and HPD stickers on the bed. It costs 2,800 bucks. The HPD package is one of 12 packages you can add to a Ridgeline, depending on how you plan to use the truck. Additionally, a range of individual dealer accessories are available for the Ridgeline. Our test truck's only additional upgrade is a set of all season floor mats. Those bring the window sticker to $41,039, including the $1,175 destination charge. If you're wondering what the CarGurus recommended trim is, I'd say you should get the one that has the equipment you want. The price spread isn't that wide, and every Ridgeline is a crew cab able to tow 5,000 pounds, carry 33.9 cubic feet of cargo in its scratch and dent resistant composite cargo bed, provide 350 pounds of tie-down cleat capacity, and supply more than 7.6 inches of ground clearance. The main functional difference is that Sport Trim boasts the highest payload capacity at 1,583 pounds. That's 74 pounds more than the higher trim levels. And if you want a blind spot warning system with rear cross traffic alert, you'll need any version of the Ridgeline except for the Sport model. Now, if you're looking at our Ridgeline and thinking to yourself, hey, that looks like an actual truck. Your eyes do not deceive you. Everything forward of the windshield and doors is new. The hood is taller and flatter. The front end takes on a more blunt appearance. The fenders, even without the HPD package, are different. Honda is even using a different tire design with more robust edges on the tread, and the track is slightly wider for a proper truck stance. Around back, a new bumper sits above new dual exhaust outlets. These changes definitely make the Ridgeline look more like a truck and less like a grocery getting crossover SUV. Not that there's anything wrong with grocery getting, of course. Inside the Ridgeline is mostly the same as it was, but look, there's a stereo volume knob now. I mean, come on, that's good stuff right there. The volume knob is attached to an eight inch touchscreen infotainment system with standard Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and seven stereo speakers. If you want satellite radio, you're going to need RTL trim, and the RTLE supplies navigation, wireless smartphone charging, and a premium sound system with cargo bed speakers. Sport trim also has manually adjustable front seats and cloth upholstery. Every other version of the truck includes a 10-way power adjustable front seat, leather, and heated front seats. Honestly, I prefer the cloth, and since the driver's seat has a manual height adjuster, I'm a happy man behind the steering wheel. Aside from excellent outward visibility and the roomiest cab in the midsize truck segment, one of the best things about the Ridgeline is its storage capacity. If you can't find a place to stash something in this truck, you're not trying hard enough. The console between the seats is huge, and thanks to its roll top cover design, it doubles as a tray. There are shelves on the front door panels. And everywhere Honda could carve out some storage, it did, including for the back seat passengers. Plus, the rear seat flips up to provide plenty of locked and secure in cab storage space, and Honda offers accessory underseat storage solutions supplying almost three cubic feet of volume. In terms of sheer utility, unless you're seeking the outright maximum towing capacity in the midsize truck segment, the Ridgeline delivers. But what about when it comes to off-roading? Well, 
That really depends on what kind of off-roading you're doing. The Ridgeline isn't a serious rock crawler. The approach angle measures 20.4 degrees. Both the breakover and departure angles are shallower at 19.6 degrees, and ground clearance measures 7.64 inches. But if you're carrying a couple of Honda dirt bikes in the bed and towing a trailer with a side-by-side -side out to the off-highway vehicle park, the Ridgeline can handle it. And with an empty bed and without a trailer, it can blast along a sandy desert road with ease. Though it shares Honda's third generation light truck platform with the Passport and Pilot SUVs and the Odyssey minivan, engineers heavily modify it for use under the Ridgeline. One of Honda's chief engineers explained everything to me. The upshot is that nearly the entire platform from the lower dashboard to the rear of the truck is either modified for use in the Ridgeline or is entirely exclusive to the truck. Plus, nearly all major chassis components are re-engineered, amounting to a 31% increase in vertical load capacity in the rear and a 17% increase in longitudinal load capacity in the front. Finally, Honda employs what it calls integrated truss side panel construction. It improves overall body rigidity and it also makes it possible to have separate rear fenders that are easy to replace in the event of damage. So then, the Ridgeline is not just a pilot with a cargo bed. And at Honda's dusty and wind-ravaged California Proving Grounds, I sampled some of the Ridgeline's feats of strength. With its intelligent traction management system, which offers snow, sand, and mud driving modes, it plowed down a path full of deep sand at remarkable speed. With its hill start assist system, it launched up a steep hillside without a problem. And with its torque vectoring all-wheel drive, which can put up to 70% of engine power to a single rear wheel, it was a blast to drift the truck around the curves and corners of a dirt circuit. Granted, this was a supervised drive in a controlled environment, and honestly, I think a pilot could have passed all of these tests too. But while outright off-roading and towing capability might not be where a Ridgeline shines brightest, there's no argument to be made against this truck when it comes to daily driving in the real world. Whether we're talking about city streets, suburban shopping centers, rural roads, twisting two lanes, or aero straight freeways, the Honda Ridgeline is a terrific truck to drive the 99% of the time you're not trying to conquer the untamed wilds. It's comfortable, it's quiet, and the 280 horsepower 3.5 liter V6 engine delivers smooth, refined, effortless acceleration. Sure, the nine speed automatic transmission's controls are a little fussy, but you get used to them. And the torque vectoring all wheel drive that's so useful when you're slamming around in the dirt also pays dividends when rounding and accelerating out of paved curves and corners. The ride and handling are much better than any other truck in the segment. Credit the Ridgeline's independent rear suspension for some of this, but by using unibody rather than body on frame construction, the Ridgeline is simply smoother and more sophisticated than its competitors. And that makes it better to drive the vast majority of the time. Now, I'm like many of you. I've got a long list of projects to get done at home. I've got a family that likes to go biking, hiking, and exploring. And sometimes I need to haul things that just won't fit into our midsize crossover SUV. If not for my profession, which involves testing trucks, I probably own one. And because I don't need serious towing capacity or off-roading capability, the Honda Ridgeline would make a great choice, especially now with its updates for the 2021 model year. Be sure to read my full review of the Honda Ridgeline at cargurus.com. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For all of us here at Cargurus, thank you very much for watching.